Good evening traders. This is a tutorial video on how to use Webull to visualize and trade the extended hours. If you're new to trading, you might not even know what extended hours are and you may not even know what the regular market hours are. So let's go over that right now. The regular market hours are from 9.30 a.m. Eastern time until 4 p.m. Eastern time. So the extended hours are trading that's available after those times and before those times and they begin at 4.01 p.m. and go all the way to 8 p.m. That's called the aftermarket. And they start up again during the pre-market at 4 a.m. Eastern time, and they go all the way up until the market opens at 9.30. So if you look at this chart, I put two vertical lines on here, and they represent the open and close of the regular market hours, the regular trading hours. So you can see here down at the bottom, if you look at the timestamp, it's showing March 15th, which is today, 4 p.m., and there's nothing after here. You don't see any trading going on, and you can see that we are in the aftermarket hours. If the same thing over here, this line marks the market open. They go down to where that timestamp is. You see it shows March 15th, 931. It shows 931 because this is on the one minute chart and it takes one minute for the first one minute candle to form. So trading does start at 930 AM, but it takes a whole minute for the first candle to form. And then if you go back one candle you see it goes all the way to friday at 4 p.m and you don't see any of the aftermarket or pre-market trading going on so let's switch first of all let me show you how to turn on the uh, extended hours and you could do this from the stocks page you could do it from the trade page um but I, the easiest probably just from the stocks page it doesn't matter what stock you have up what, or maybe there's no stock up click on settings click on show extended hours click done and now all of a sudden you see these gray areas and this is all the aftermarket trading for today which is still going on because it'll go on until 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time and then over here you can see all the pre-market trading from today and if you keep going back far enough you're gonna see watch the timestamp down here you're gonna see it switch from the pre-market to the aftermarket on Friday right so the aftermarket and pre-market are all combined in one gray area and then when you get into the black area that's the normal trading hours again so tomorrow morning things will pick up somewhere around if you look down here you can see where yeah right there is where the uh, pre-market will pick up tomorrow morning so now let's talk about if you want to actually trade during that time you have to change one other thing this just allows you to visualize what's going on in the pre-market which could be helpful even if you're only trading during the day you want to see some resistance and support levels that establish themselves during the pre and the aftermarket hours but if you actually want to trade those times you're going to have to change some other settings so i have this set like this because i think this is the way weeble comes new i don't ever use market orders but i think if you're brand new to weeble you're going to see order type set to market and let's talk about how to change that and what you need to change. You can change it right here, but I'm going to show you uh, another way to do it. Click on settings down here, go to trade. So, um, oh, this actually shows the changes already. So let me just change them back to probably what you're going to see. It's going to look like this. And what you're going to need to do is go to order type and change it from market to limit. Limit orders are the only type of orders that are allowed to be executed during the pre-market and aftermarket hours. Doesn't matter what broker you're using. That's just the way it is. And the time and force doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're day trading, if you're trading during the intraday or extended hours, doesn't matter. You can set it to day or good till canceled. Either one will work. And extended hours, this one is absolutely crucial. If you have it set to no, it doesn't matter if you're using a limit order or not. Your order is not going to go through during the pre-market or the aftermarket. You must select yes under extended hours. So the other thing, just make sure you don't have a stop loss or a take profit order selected. Those can be used during regular trading hours, but if you have either one or both of those selected during extended hours, even if you have everything else set up properly, your order will not go through because both of those are, well, no, actually this one here is a market order. This is a limit order, but it still won't work during extended hours. So that's that. And then when you go back to that stocks page, I bet you, let's see here, it's not going to actually look like this because I know how Weeble works. Yeah, see, it still shows this, but watch if I change to another stock or ETF, doesn't matter. Now, now it's showing the changes we made if I go back to SPY. So it's just, it needed to be refreshed. I probably would have worked if I would have hit refresh as well. So now you see no matter what 
um, stock I go to, it's showing what our correct settings. So I just wanted to show you that so that you don't think that, oh, I didn't do something, uh, you know, that you did something wrong when you went into settings and change that stuff. There's no like save button or anything like that. You just make those changes and you come back to some other um, view or page and then you just need to either refresh or change stocks and go back to that stock and then you'll see now every time you open and close Webull it's going to have those new settings in place you won't need to do that ever again including selecting extended hours and no matter what page I go to here if I go to the uh, watch list page it's going to show you the extended hours you can see those gray areas if I go to the custom trade page it will also show you the extended hours so that's pretty much all you have to do to visualize and or trade during extended hours with Webull and that's about it for this video. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll just leave you with uh, always honor your stop losses and your profit target and you should be green in the long run. Take care.